Hey, what's up, guys? This is Fury Aiden and Excite from Conquer Gaming. We're going to be commentating an old Halo 3 gameplay with uh, Instinct and Final Boss. We're hopping on board here with Elamite Warrior, so let's get it started. So we have Elamite Warrior uh, putting shots on Ogre 2 top mid, uh, putting more shots on Victory X, who was at his R1, pushed down to his sniper, who was cleaned up by Instinct. Not Instinct, but uh, Lunchbox. So we have Elamite pushing for top mid control, but does get sniped one time. So he's hiding at the opponent's sniper. And he's pushing up into their base, which is a great play. Let's see if he can capitalize on it. So he pushes up, cleans up one kill. Let's see if he can stay alive. And he doesn't. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit. When you're playing this map, which is Narrows, getting to the enemy's base is a little tough. And when you're in their base, you want to cause havoc. You want to cause havoc, and you want to be undetected. But for Elamite Warrior to overextend, get one kill, and die, and might I mention, it's a pretty irrelevant kill because no flag is being pulled, um, he didn't capitalize on the fact that he was pushed up into the opponent's base. If I were him, I would have just stayed undetected and uh, wreaked havoc. What about you, X-Life? What would you have done? Well, I mean, he did, he probably got the call out that that kid was one shot back cannon. That's how he reacted. But if he ignored that call out and stayed kind of in their flag, if you, a couple seconds after he died, there was three or four of uh, final boss down. So, I mean, if you just take that aside, if he just stayed back and they pushed up as a team, they would have got that cap and had another four down for final boss. Okay, so we have... <clears throat> Two, three players of instinct down, three players of four players now up for both teams. Okay, so one down for instincts. Oh, we have Elamite Warrior getting into a BR battle on his cannon while flag is down bottom mid, which is now recovered by in by lunchbox. So pretty much so far a stalemate, but Right now, I think that final boss is kind of excelling a little bit. I mean, they did have an almost successful uh, lag run. So, Max, who would you say right now is kind of capitalizing during this game? Well, I mean, LMI War is doing pretty good. Uh, final boss, uh, they're, it looks like they're controlling the map right now, controlling top mid. Um, they're getting, our instincts getting pushed into their base, which you don't, do not want to do on this map when it's either, well, Slayer and Flag. Uh, but it looks like they're gaining control of top mid right now, getting a couple of them down. Uh, looks like LMI Warriors pushing their L2, notices a guy L3. Uh, it looks like they're getting, uh, into the final boss base. And he has a snipe again, probably going to make big plays with it because they, I don't think they know that he's here. Nope, they do not know. Um, well, it looks like Fear Self, you know, he got the call out he was. Does miss a couple shots and picks up the kill. Well, Cloudy Cloud does. Now, they are going to pull the flag. Now, it is a smart play to kind of toss it a couple times and hold it. But it looks like they're going to try to go over the cannon to get the cannon. Yeah, now, I mean, if we take a look at the members alive, we're going to see two players down for pretty much each team. Now, of course, players are spawning right now, but... When you do not have a player advantage, as in you have more players up than they do, it's really hard to run the flag halfway across the map, so it was a very wise decision for Elamite to just chuck that flag in the lift, deliver it to his teammates halfway across the map, and get a cat based off of that. <clears throat> now once again, he's in their base with the sniper, let's see if he can cause some havoc. It's a nice cleanup on Victory X, gets a nice double on Ogre 2. Uh, taking... Okay, now, look, we can notice that he just... He pulled the flag, probably not in the best situation, and he just kind of leaves it there. A lot of players on a lot of teams won't touch the flag unless they have a bigger or a big player majority. When Elamite was doing that, he was making a good play by being a nuisance. We have Instinct now up 1-0, Personally, I think because of what Elamite has started to do in their base, Elamite has started to spawn, get over their base as fast as they can, and cause havoc. Um, 
And we have Elamite in their base right now, once again, pulling a little uh, pesty, you know, flag pull. Because let's be honest, if your flag gets pulled, no matter if it's, you know, 20 feet away, 10 feet away, or halfway across the map, one of your priorities is going to be to put that flag back home. So, you know, um, that's what Elamite Warrior is trying to do when he's, you know, just getting these little flag pulls. Now, they are holding down a precious, probably the most precious part of the map right now of Narrows, uh, which is top mid. Um, let's just be honest, if you have a player on your team who has a sniper, they can just sit back and spawn trap all day long. Uh, top mid is just such a big part of this map. He gets a nice double kill. Let's see if he stays alive, and he does. He pushes down towards blue snipe and picks it up. Now, this is what, the fourth time he's been in their base, the second or third with the sniper? Let's see if he can once again wreak havoc. Okay, so he sees a guy on their flag right here, tries to throw a nade off by a little bit, but his teammate, Cloud, uh, cleans up the kill. A little late on the snipe to save him, but he got the trade, so it's a good play in my eyes. Now, Max, uh, do you think there's been a momentum shift uh, in this game so far? Well, these past several minutes, uh, if you can notice, Instinct has been uh, controlling top mid. Uh, they've been pushing into the base. They got a flag cap from it. Now, it looks like Final Boss is pulling the flag, and uh, Instinct is pretty much all of them were, are just spawning. I mean, if Final Boss is in their base, they got the flag. It looks like uh, halfway across the map, bottom mid on rockets. Uh, and it looks like they're just slaughtering them now. I mean, they're getting them all down. They just shut down that play, that push, and getting them on spawn trap. Oh, yeah, push. and yeah, and I mean, we see Pistola on that cannon spawn. Elamite Warrior one shot in their snipe gets cleaned up, and it looks like the Instinct Squad was just casually pushing up after killing their entire team. Um, if you kill their team a couple times, but during those during those slaughter or during that slaughter if you push up gradually after each kill you get you're gonna start to notice that you're gonna end up in their base and you're slaying them at that moment that's when you want to pull the flag um but you gotta kind of watch out if they have a player like elamite he's probably gonna be in your base with a sniper shutting you down and that's exactly what elamite is doing in this game He's being a factor, at least so far in this game, and I think he's the reason why there's been that momentum shift. So we see uh, Ogre too with uh, with those nasty BR shots. Um, we have two players and in Instinct down now, two players down from both teams. We might try to see a flag pull here. We don't, we just see... I don't know if that was host or not, but um, his BR shots look pretty clean to me from Elamite. So let's see what Spawny gets. Um, Spawns their throw. He's going to be pushing up for some top mid control once again. That is always a good play holding down top mid. But he spots two players. Uh, he's half shields. Roy Borg gets off the body shot with the snipe to clean up the kill. Lunchbox gets another kill. Elamite gets that clean up with the tea bag. Now three dead for the final boss squad. I think I think they should be pushing up here. So this is a very good play by LMI Warrior using the map to his advantage, getting that sh four shot or five shot, whatever it was, to get one of the final boss members down, allow his team to push up and get top mid control. Yeah, I mean, let's just take one more look at that play here. So we see Elamite going for the stick, misses the stick. Elamite is half shields, his opponent's full shields, and he's just going to use this cover to his advantage. for the easy cleanup. Um, that's one of those plays that really separates a top player from an amateur player. Um, just your ability to use the map in your favor. So we're gonna see him spawn towards top mid here. Uh, Elamite is now helping, or helping shut down the flag cap. Uh, it's two shot beat down from top mid. So, Exilic, how do you think Elamite's performance has been so far this game? Well, I mean, he's doing very well. I mean, he's in their base. He's acting like a pest, putting shots on everybody from behind. He's had a sniper in their base two or three times, and he's just picking kids off, allowing his teammates to push up, get top mid control, 
get those good angles and spawn kill final boss. I mean, they have two caps right now because of it. If he keeps performing like this and his team keeps performing uh, top level, they're going to get another cap and steal this game out. Yeah, definitely. So um, we have Elamite Warrior just kind of trying to contest the players pushing up on his flag. And look at that little pile of nades here. Kind of irrelevant, but we have Elamite cleaning up Pistola from his back. It's rocketed by Ogre 2. Now, Ogre that was a very good play. He knows they were pushing up for the flag, so he went in to Overshield. They didn't expect that at all, because they just shut down their play right there. And they had top mid control and rockets. That was a very good play by him. We see Fear itself a little clueless here. Elamite Warrior with a nice kill on the rockets, earning him two missiles now to use on his opponents, hopefully assisting in the third and final flag cap. Oh, we have Elamite with the sniper, misses the no-scope, destroys his teammate and his opponent double kill, but he still has one rocket. Other than that, no ammo, and let's see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's take a look at this play real fast. So he gets the rockets here, and if we go back a little bit in time, we're going to notice that he has no sniper ammo. He shot out all his sniper ammo, and I will actually show you this play. Um, after he kills rockets, he, um, he pushes towards top mid, and he grabs the sniper with one shot. Now, I'm actually a little confused after he blows up these two players, why he doesn't pick up a BR. There's a BR right to the left of him. We can see it right here. He doesn't pick up the BR, so the only weapon he has right now is a rocket launcher with one rocket. And he shoots it top mid. Now, that did assist the kill top mid. So technically, it was a pretty good play to assist his teammate with the kill. But in my eyes, it's a bad play because look at the situation he's in right now. He has no way of killing Victory X. But also because he's a good player, he saves a sticky, uh, he saves a sticky grenade. He doesn't get the stick. But um, you guys catch my drift on that. He definitely should have either saved his rocket or picked up a BR. If it was me, I would have picked up a BR and shot that rocket to help on my teammate. But anyways, uh, he's going to get a flag spawn and uh, push up towards Fro. So Max, uh, what do you think, how would you rate Elamite Warrior's decision making during this game so far? Well, I mean, like any player out there, I don't think you can be 100% every single game. Now this game, it uh, looks like we switched uh, camera angles because he fell off the map, but so far he has a couple iffy plays. I mean, at the beginning of this film, he did uh, push in their lobby, I believe, was it with Snipe or... Uh, yeah, and, yeah, he, he overextended a little bit. Yeah, they could have got an easy cap right there. And he, um, I mean, that play was just running around with no ammo and a couple of nades. I mean, there were plenty of uh, BRs you could have picked up and other uh, ways he could have uh, made a better play. I mean, he pulled that flag, he could have went their snipe, where three of his teammates were top mid. But, yeah, but at the same time, he yeah, was trying yeah. to be a pest. He was trying yeah. to be a pest and stay in their base. Let's also be honest. They're 2 owing final boss right now, okay? For that to happen, none of your players can be playing any less than solid. Even though Elamites had a little iffy plays, his good plays destroy, outweigh his bad plays. So overall, he's been having a great game. Yeah, that is, here with Victory X. that is totally true. And that was a very good play. I mean, he set the flag down knowing some of his teammates were top mid to try to, you know, back up final boss. And he throws a nade just to get that kid off, b so he doesn't, you know, recover that flag and trades with him. Yeah, and that would be the game instinct. 3 owing final boss in the disgusting sweep. Just a pretty good gameplay from Elamite, being a complete pest, getting in their base every time he spawned. Uh, Elamite basically, I think this game was a 3-0 because final boss could not handle the speed that instinct was bringing. When you have Elamite Warrior in their base constantly, that's going to force Final Boss to play at instinct's pace, which obviously Final Boss does not like. Any last words, x -like? Uh Yeah, it was a very good game. I mean, Final Boss, they would have had the series if they kept control of top mid and they 
uh, got rid of Elamite out of their base. But Elamite, you know, they he made great plays. Uh, he did have some iffy plays, but he made plays throughout the game that you know uh, covered for his mistakes. Yes, exactly. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been a commentary by Xlec and Furiated from Conquer Gaming. Visit us at www.conquergaming.com and have a nice night. Boom.